Good evening, Islander fans. Wow, it's great to say this. It's game day for the New York Islanders. Welcome to the Canadian Islander fan. My name is Terry, and I am super excited to get some Islander hockey going. Uh, <clears throat> it seems like deja vu all over again, where we are starting up our season. It seems like for the fourth time this year, I, I can't even remember. But uh, yeah, so this is kind of crazy. I know I said last time that I hope this will be the last of the breaks that we get, but nope, we got two more weeks off instead. So it's been a while since the Islanders have played a game and uh, there's going to be some rust. Uh, however, uh, New Jersey is in deep trouble tonight and they are decimated. Uh, New Jersey is one of the teams that got to play us while we had our AHL team and they beat us. And this is no different for the Islanders. I, I know we're going to be dealing with a lot of rust. It's almost like two games in a month, but uh, this is a game we can't throw away. This is a game that we have to have tonight. And uh, we need to win this one. We need to start moving our way upwards and onwards. The, uh, uh, the mantra right now is, uh, and Barry has said it, made it or made this comment many times is we can only deal with what is right in front of us right now we cannot be really looking at the standings if you wanted to you could look at this game and go oh the first team the Islanders got to catch is the New Jersey Devils and they're seven points behind the Devils with eight games in hand but that's not really the way to focus in on this what we have to do if you look all the way up the board uh, it becomes a very daunting task so what you have to do is you focus in on the number 500. So basically we have been five games below 500 twice this year, and we are currently uh, two games below 500 right now, and a great opportunity to go one game to 500. Our immediate goal right now is to get to 500. Currently right now is it as it stands with us being seven points behind New Jersey, Technically, we're a little bit ahead of them, and the reason being is because there are three games under 500, and we're two games under 500. So, uh, basically, our winning percentage is better than New Jersey, but we have to start winning these games uh, to start moving onwards and upwards. Our first goal is to get to 500. Then we can concentrate on on tacking the number over 500. So, first and foremost, we need to win this one and get to 500 so that we can move on uh, into this season. And hopefully we're going to get a little bit of rhythm out of it this time. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm looking for a good game out of the Islanders. I know there'll be a lot of pep from them. They came back really well last time, but uh, they had played a few more games before the last break than they did this time. So I expect the rest to definitely be there. But however, I, I expect to see a lot of pent up energy from a lot of Islanders tonight. So this could be really exciting. It doesn't look like Kyle Palmieri or Matt Martin are going to get in the lineup tonight. So it's looking like uh, Bellows is going to be staying in the lineup, which is good news for the Islanders. And uh, this is about as close as we've been to a full team in a long time. So this is kind of exciting. It's hard to believe that our power play is now ranked 20th overall in the NHL. And New Jersey's is only 31st. That's where we were before back in... in <laughs> This is a month ago, but it wasn't that many games ago. So uh, power play looking a lot better. We need to take advantage of that again, once again tonight. So uh, this is one game where everything is lined up. Well, not everything's lined up for the Islanders, but the majority of things are lined up for the Islanders here. We're at home. We need to take this game and we need to get back into this race. So if we get back to uh, one game under 500 tonight, basically that's where Columbus is right now. So uh, that's our first and foremost. So we're looking to get one game under 500. I'm looking forward to a big game from the Isles tonight. I, we need them to come out really strong in this one. Okay, so anyway, we shall see you in between the first and second period. Let's go Islanders. It's game day. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. After one period of play, the Islanders and the Devils are all knotted up at one. Uh, it's great to have the Islander hockey back, that's for sure. Boy, we came storming out of the gates and uh, it didn't look like we had a bit of rust on us, especially the uh, identity line. Man, they came out flying. Tons of opportunities. Zeker with a breakaway. Cal Clutterbuck had about three chances. Ross Johnson was laying the body on everybody. 
the whole team looked great up until about five minutes. And then it, it, then uh, it seemed like the rust came in and uh, there was a lot of misplays by the Islanders out there tonight. So uh, in the first period, I, I obviously I'm not upset with any of it because of the uh, rust factor. If anything, we got lucky to uh, hit a team like New Jersey. If we can get out of this game with a win, it's a good team to shake the rust off on. And, and I would expect some rust even uh, in our next game. So this one is just win however you can. That's that's what, you know, it's a shootout over time. I don't care if New Jersey gets a point. This is a must win for us. We need to get going. And uh, it, it was too bad because... Uh, it, it looked like we were getting the better of the play. And then uh, Ilya gave up a bit of a softy there, but you know what? You can't blame Ilya either. Everybody's got rust. He's got rust. Uh, the giveaway Salo made that's rust. Uh, I, I saw a lot of giveaways by the owners, a lot of uh, bad plays. I saw a, a pass that bars normally always, uh, makes with ease on a sauce pass and somehow the puck didn't even come off the ice and just went on the defender's stick. So uh, yeah, the rest is there. Uh, I thought our, our identity line was the best line. Uh, Ilya looked a little bit shaky, but still made some really nice saves out there. And now that we've gotten a goal against this AHL goaltender, we don't have to worry about being shut out by him. So now we can start scoring at will, which would be nice in the second period. Uh, I, uh, I'd like to see two things. Last time we came back from a break, I thought that the Islanders would fade in the third period. They didn't. So I'm not expecting the Islanders to fade in the third period tonight. However, I'm expecting them to get crisper as the game goes on. So, uh, yeah, really, uh, overall, though, you got to say it's a pretty good period out there. Uh, coming out with the tie, uh, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. It would have been better with the lead and whatnot, but uh, I still got confidence we're going to win this game. We're looking pretty good uh, jump-wise out there and whatnot, and, and it's just a matter of getting into uh, into a groove. So uh, so Ilya gives up a softy to Sharon Govich there, but that's okay, and we get on the power play, and the power play stays hot with uh, Bailey scoring from... Parise and Beauvillier. Parise doing all the dirty work down there. And uh, Bailey jumped on a loose puck to put her into an empty net. But uh, good grinding work by the Islanders down low. Uh, and that's how you score goals. And once again, the power play continues to be on uh, one of the best things we got going for us right now. And uh, yeah, so power play bailing us out this is what we need to go on a streak we need our power play to be as effective as all the rest of the other good teams so uh overall sloppy period uh 14 shots apiece but uh you know we're shaking the rust off and that's the important thing and then the second important thing is to get that win tonight so looking forward to a great second period here i hope the islanders shake off a bit of rust get into a bit more of a groove i'm hoping for no penalties so that we can roll the lines and this these guys can get the, the rust off quicker and get into a groove better without all the stops and starts and whatnot but maybe i do want power plays because our our power plays on fire lately and i keep seeing lately two games in in a month basically but uh you know what i mean we've we've moved up uh, 11 spots in the power play in just about a four or five game period so uh yeah all right let's uh let's go islanders and let's take it to them in the second period after two periods of play new york islanders are winning two to one over the new jersey devils that's two games in a row now that i've got to announce the islanders being ahead after two periods of play and I would like to start getting used to saying that a whole lot more often because I didn't get very much of a chance to say it in the first 25 games. So you can literally see the rust falling off the Islanders onto the ice as they uh, started to look a whole lot better in the second period. The uh, pass is a little more crisp. Don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of, a lot of rust out there, but you could, you could, you could see a noticeable difference between the first and the second for sure. Uh, yeah, they, they look much better. And hey, somebody tell Josh Bailey this isn't a playoff game. <laughs> Holy cow. This, I, I, I'm normally so critical of Bailey, but uh, this, this uh, I believe he had a good game last game before we broke off. 
it, it was either the last game or the game before the last game, but uh, either way, he's had a, a well, looking like his best game of the year right now. He's, he's completely engaged. Uh, yeah. He's made some giveaways and stuff like that. Like he normally does and stuff like that, but so is everybody else on the team. They're, they're all looking a little, little bit rusty out there. Uh, and uh, remember those breaks that we weren't getting at the start of the year. Well, how about, uh, how about, <laughs> how about Adam Bellick? Ripping a puck off a guy's cup. <laughs> that was freaking hilarious. Oh my God. It goes right off the cup, straight into the ground and bounces straight up into the air. That was, that. that's the breaks we were never getting. And uh, it was nice to see Belly. I guess he, uh, you know, somebody, I, I bet you Josh told him he was an all-star between the break and he goes, oh, well, just got to perform like an all-star and uh adam looking great out there uh i i'm not gonna over judge anybody on the team too much tonight for their performance uh based on on you know the breaks and everything we've had and whatnot so anyway we'll do that at the end of the game but uh adam pellick opens the scoring or gives the go-ahead goal for the New York Islanders uh, and once again from Parise and Beauvillier so uh, this time uh, yeah same same uh, three guys well not same three guys but Beauvillier and Palm, or Parise both assists so uh, great job by those guys especially uh, they haven't been getting very many points and whatnot so it's, it's nice to see a multi-point game for them Bo is starting to it looked like Bo was starting to come out of his funk there in the last three or four games before his spaced out as they were or whatnot. But uh, yeah, he looks to be continuing on that same path. And uh, I think we've gotten lucky a couple of times. Uh, Ilya is is having a rough time with his angles tonight. We've, we've just gotten really lucky that the guys, uh, they've either missed the net or they've shot it right into his bread basket. And uh, yeah, he, his angles are way off tonight, but he's made some great saves. So uh, it's pretty much all we can ask out of Ilya. So anyway, 2-1 Islanders going into the third period. We need this win. Let's get on our boys. Let's go Islanders. Shut down Islander hockey. Let's do it. See you after the game. All right, the New York Islanders beat the New Jersey Devils 3-2 in a big, big win for the Islanders. And... For once, we got kind of fortunate uh, to be able to play New Jersey and uh, probably fortunate to play Philadelphia next as well. Uh, we haven't gotten many breaks go our way this year because uh, it just hasn't been going our way. But uh, this is a break going our way. Playing a team like New Jersey gave us a chance to shake off a little rust today. There's still more rust to shake off, I'm, I'm sure. But uh, the opponent that we drew to shake off the rust uh, helped us a lot, I think. And of course, with COVID as well, with Blackwood being out and whatnot. So the Islanders took advantage of what was presented right in front of them and they took it and ran. So great job by the Islanders. 3-2 uh, victory. Like I said, we got some bounces. Pellick off the cup and in the net. <laughs> Uh, I'm still cracking up over that one. I've never seen that that directive a hit and then go straight down to the ice like that. But uh, well, the third period was more exciting than uh, most of the game. But I was thinking through the whole thing. You know what? I I would be more than happy to get back to the boring two one wins and three two wins and stuff like that the way we used to, because at least we were winning. So. Uh, I don't need to be 100% entertained right now, but uh, I, I, you know, entertainment's always nice, but we need the wins, and we, we did what we had to do. It was looking bleak there at the end. Uh, penalty trouble got us uh, into a bad situation, and it finally paid off for New Jersey on their fifth power play of the game. Uh, up to that point, the power play had been really good, but... Uh, 
Well, after five, you're eventually going to get one year or so, you would think. And uh, that's exactly what New Jersey did. However, the Islanders didn't uh, give up. And Butch made the bold prediction the game wouldn't go to overtime. And uh, wow, what a great play. What a great goal. Uh, Scotty Mayfield. Uh, the guy, he, he grabs the puck in the, in the end and he just starts looking for options up there. He's slowly chugging away and the ice just keeps opening up and the ice keeps opening up and he just keeps chugging with the puck and then he dishes off to Bailey and then what Bailey and Barzell did uh, for that goal was, was pretty amazing stuff. That uh, last pass by Bailey was, was a beauty and uh, this, this no doubt was Bailey's best game of the year, uh, but what a shot by, by Maddie to up where Babushka keeps the borscht. Uh, I tell you, man, that was, uh, that was a, that was a rocket and uh, I sure was happy to see that one go in. So pretty important for us. Ilya had a good game for us tonight as well. A lot of times he looked a little off with his angles and whatnot, but overall, uh, Really great game. Great comeback by the Islanders. Uh, huge win to put us now one game under 500. Four games ago, that was our target, is to get to 500. And, uh, you know, now we, uh, I don't know if people remember, but we were on a five or six game point streak. Now it's either six or seven or, or, or six now. Uh, so anyway, we keep that rolling and uh, home is starting to, starting to be pretty good to us now and i have to say not only were the islanders amped up but the Islander fans were amped up as well that's the loudest i've heard uh ubs uh on my tv tonight's game for sure especially once maddie scored that goal and the rest of the game with the let's go Islander chance uh, it was rocking but it was buzzing it was buzzing before that so uh it was really loud tonight and it was great to hear and uh you know, not the greatest game in the world, kind of sloppy in that, but the bottom line is, is uh, we came through in the crunch and it was our, it was the guy that's supposed to do it, our, our main number one guy, Matty, comes through in the crunch and uh, big win for the Islanders, big, big win, big time. So anyway, let's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, let's get into the uh, player evaluations for the game and Austin Zarnick, wow. Wow, this guy has just been absolutely outstanding for us. What a plug and play kind of player this guy is. Uh, holy smokes, we're lucky to have him as a, as depth because he was awesome once again out there tonight. Uh, he was a big factor on the second goal too that we scored. He just happened to get the third assist on the play, but he made a lot of that happen with his hustle. It was just another outstanding game by Austin Zarnick, and he was awesome on the uh, penalty kill as well. Uh, so, you know, big kudos to Austin, uh, you know, he's more than welcome to stay around as long as he likes, in my opinion. And I don't, I don't think he should go any further than the 13th forward spot at least. Uh, yeah. Austin looking good, buddy. Zach Parisi. Wow. What a game Two assists. Nice to finally get rewarded for his hard work and, Man, that guy, it, so many other things that he did well, just besides the two assists, like defensive plays and penalty killing and, and all that stuff. Really outstanding work by Zach tonight. Uh, uh, a well-earned star for him. Uh, I believe he was the third star of the game, so well done. And Josh Bailey, well, you know, like, no doubt his best game of the year by a mile. Like it's not even close. Who knows? It might even be up there in his top five all time career. I mean, the guy was engaged tonight and he was making smart passes instead of stupid passes. He made a couple of stupid passes. He has this knack for trying to, you know, there'd be two guys in between them. They got their low legs close together and he still tries to pass the puck through those two guys. And so he's got to learn not to do that kind of stuff and make the pass when the pass is there, like on the Barzell goal. Pass was there. He made the pass, score a goal. So stop trying to force everything, Josh, and just, just let it go. You know, like if you have to eat the puck, you have to eat the puck. I know you don't like physical contact, but, uh, you know, that's just the way it is. But uh, I'll call the spade a spade. Uh, a great game by Bailey tonight and a big reason why we won tonight. So kudos to him going out. 
Matt Barzell, what can you say? I thought uh, I thought the first period uh, he was barely noticeable, but uh, once that rust started shaking off him, I thought for periods two and three he was really coming through for us. And of course, he comes through with the game winning goal. So uh, great game by Matt. Uh, that's a that's a clutch clutch goal for a team leader. That's a that's a baby, and we needed it. Cal Clutterbuck, wow. Another great game. He had so many, well, shouldn't say so many, but he had about three scoring opportunities in the first period. And uh, just another great game by him. I thought the identity line minus Matt Martin looked really good tonight. Like Ross was throwing some seriously hard checks out there. And uh, every time there was any kind uh, to do, Ross was on the ice or Zdeno was on the ice. And uh, that came to an end pretty quick. And the cheap stop, you know, Cheap shots uh, stopped pretty quick, and they stopped digging at, at Ilya's hand after Zidane finally said enough is enough. So, uh, yeah, great game by Cal for sure. Anthony Bovillier, it's nice to see Tony uh, moving his way back up into uh, the good graces of myself because I was uh, getting a little upset with him. This is not the first time that Anthony's disappeared for 20 games and uh it's coming on he's coming on now and he needs to stay hot and then once he's no longer hot he at least needs to be consistent after that and i don't disappear anthony so and i wouldn't even consider it a hot streak but uh for the last three four games for for Bo, he's been collecting points so uh that's good to see uh he well he was skating well looked confident out there so uh confidence is a big thing when it comes to playing hockey it's amazing what it can do Oliver Wallstrom another another super game at uh Ollie and uh love the chat for Wally in the game loud and clear that came across on the tv and I think he really appreciated it as well that guy is super strong on the puck with his stick and what a shot and he, he is very deceptive he's got some dangle in him for sure and then that hit <laughs> he's not the smallest of boys either so uh yeah wally uh future is bright with guys like wally and bars and Bo, and yeah it's looking good we're going to be around for a while folks uh how about keeper bellows another good game another another really good game uh he had scoring opportunities uh, using the body playing the details so yeah really uh Really pleased with Kiefer's game tonight. No need to take him out from what he did tonight. He looked really good. Got some good shots off and whatnot. So, yeah, happy to see that. Anders Lee, uh, he, was, he was okay tonight. He was good. Uh, nothing bad for sure. He definitely, you know, owning his office and uh, doing what he had to do out there. There was a couple opportunities. It just didn't happen tonight. He made that beautiful deflection at the end there when <laughs> almost went through the five hole. Uh, it was a sweet deflection and the goalie was Gillies was going across, but his stick just happened to be sliding with him and, and covered the five hole at, at, at the very last second. And I don't think he did it on purpose. It just happenstance that's the way because the way he was sliding that the goals that came there great great deflection by Andrew so uh Brock Nelson you could tell he hadn't played since December 19th uh but there were moments where he you know he got the old engine going and and moving away and that uh bad penalty at the end by Brock but that's okay he, uh long time since Brock's played a game so he definitely gets some grace with me tonight for sure uh ross johnson just awesome game plays within himself uh made some really really nice passes out there tonight like this guy isn't your average goon like uh he kind of reminds me of uh like oh, maybe this is too high a praise but uh like a tanner Janot because Janot's really on fire with the scoring but uh the toughness in that and 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 just plays a good straight tough game and uh yeah ross looked really good out there and poor zeker a couple of well one and a half breakaways shall we call it but he had other scoring opportunities as well but zeker and the identity line had a really good night as well uh they carried us in the first half of the first period that line uh for sure so uh they came out guns a blazing and they looked really good tonight played played well played well 
Robin Sallow, uh, I think his ice time was down at the end there, but, uh, you know, uh, he, he had his moments in the game for sure. Uh, but it, it's guarded ice time. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of uh, Dobson when we, uh, when we were breaking in Dobson and we did it the right way for sure. You know, like he only got a minute and seven seconds of ice time in the third period for 13 minutes this game, which isn't total guarded. Uh, so uh, defensively he played well. He had one really, really, really bad giveaway, but uh, uh, a lot of people had a lot of bad giveaways tonight. So there was, there was a lot of rust to be shaken off uh, a lot of players out there. Some of them hadn't played in a really long time. So don't forget Salo also came off the COVID as well uh, just recently. So um, let's see. So uh, Scotty Mayfield. Wow. Uh, you know, uh, Pelly takes a couple of penalties tonight and just just throw in rock steady Scott Mayfield for defense and it is barely noticed that it's amazing that you can lose a guy like uh Pellick in the box who's probably your best penalty killer and uh you don't really lose anything because then Scott Mayfield steps in and uh Zdeno Chara was was fantastic on the penalty kill tonight Zdeno had a really good game as well but uh, yeah, Scotty and, and Zidano really stepped up on the defensive side of the puck tonight and uh, really pleased with both their games, uh, as well as, holy cow, Dobson's the real deal. It's, uh, this break didn't cool him at all, off at all. He, man, I love to see him guns a blazing from the point the way he's been doing with the shots. And he just looks like a completely different player. Just so much confidence using out of him right now. Fantastic game by Dobby. He can really, really, really control the play. And uh, once again, uh, coming to Andy Green, there's Mr. Rock Solid, also on the uh, PK, doing a fantastic job for us tonight. And just a rock, rock solid player, got off a couple of good shots from the point tonight. So, uh, yeah, that was big. So basically right now, I told you we, we got to have our small goals and small goals are being met right now. We cannot look any further than what's in front of us, as Barry likes to say. And no further in front of us is Philadelphia, a game that we have to beat. Uh, or a team that we have to beat. And, but the most important thing is on Saturday, we are going to be fighting to be a 500 team. I know, I know that doesn't sound like really high expectations, but when you're five below and last in the Metro division, uh, it's baby steps. So this is a big step right here. If we can pull off this, uh, there's still going to be rust to shake off. I know it. And uh it's a big game. If we could pull this one off, get two games under the belt with two wins, that would be absolutely amazing. And that would help us out big time. So anyway, oh, uh, Ilias Roken, uh, definitely played, had a good game as well. May have looked shaky, may have been off on the angles, but man, when you need the guy, he's there. Gave up a super softy today. Rust, what can you say? Uh Good game by Ilya. It's, it's another victory and way to go Ilya and Barley's going to do the same on Saturday night. So anyway, super excited about the honors getting back to uh, one game under 500. Next step is to get there, which I hope to do on Saturday night and uh, super excited about tonight's victory. Wasn't overly thrilling, but there was thrilling moments and whatnot. So Great win by the Islanders. It's a good way to come back from another long break. And like I said, we got so many things going that people don't even realize, like uh, eight, eight power play goals in eight consecutive games. Haven't done that in, since, what, 2017 or whatever it was. A uh, whole bunch of things going on, but none of it's being noticed because we've had so many breaks. Like right now, Matt Barzell is the... Uh, is the active points per game leader. Did anybody know that? I know that because uh, <laughs> JT Miller lost it last night at nine and now Matt's nine. So it only makes sense that he's got the uh, longest one going. So uh, keep her going, Matty. Uh, so many streaks like that 
unnoticeable because we've been chopped up so much this season. And anyway, I'm super excited to get Islander hockey back. I'm hoping that we're just going to get a ton of Islander hockey, which it looks like he's going to be if we're going to catch up in game. So uh, excited about the future is a good way to start from the break tonight. We did it last time too, went, went 2-0 and on that big long break. And so we're off to get started at 1-0. So I want everybody out there, you all take care and peace out. <laughs> what?